Hey, so today I'm going to be showing you guys the makeup I'm taking with me traveling. If you don't know, I did mention this in my exciting update video. I will link that in the description down below. I am going to be going on a two month trip to Asia. I'm going to be staying in Shanghai for the most part, but I will also be visiting Japan and possibly Beijing. So I'm going to be gone for quite a long time and I want to show you guys the makeup I'm bringing along with me. I did ask you guys in the community tab how you would like me to film this video and you guys actually said flat lay, which kind of surprised me a little bit. But yeah, um, this is a new setup for me so sorry if things are out of focus and whatnot and also my bracelet makes a lot of noise. I'm sorry about that. Let's see if I can just wrap it around so it doesn't make any noise, so it's not obnoxious. So let's start off with the complexion products for primer. I'm not actually going to be taking this primer with me, so you may be wondering, then why are you showing it? This is the Jouer Anti-Blemish Matte Primer, as you can see right here. The reason why I'm not taking this with me is because it's down to here. It's really down, far down, and I'm going to finish it before I go on my trip. But I will be purchasing, I'll put a picture on the screen right here, the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Matte Primer, because I really want to try that out. I love Fenty, and I want to try out that primer, so... Just so you know, I will be taking a primer, but I'm just showing this just so I can show a product, you know? Now, if you watch my channel over and over and over again, you would know that the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Matte Foundation is my favourite foundation of all time. However, I'm not going to be taking that foundation with me or my other foundation, which is my Nabla Futurism Foundation. The reason why is because I don't actually wear foundation on a daily basis. I, I might be shocking to some of you, but I just don't. I just can't be bothered. I only wear foundation if I'm going out with friends or if I'm doing anything and I feel like wearing foundation. I don't know. I just don't wear it on a daily basis and I know that I won't wear it whilst I'm in Asia. I just won't. I know myself. I know I won't wear it. So it's pointless bringing it along. But for concealer, I'm going to be bringing the Nabla Close-Up Concealer. I'm in the shade Light Ivory. I don't know if you can see in the tube, but it's kind of getting down there. I'm probably going to finish this whilst I'm on my trip. Maybe, we'll see. But this is the only concealer in my collection. I like the doe foot, but the formula is not my favourite. And you guys know Nabla is, my, is one of my favourite brands, if not my favourite brand. So it, it's kind of bumming me out that this is not my favourite concealer. But I will use it up, and yeah, that's that. Hopefully I'll finish it while I'm over there. Sticking with the Nabla theme, I'm bringing the Nabla Close-Up Smoothing Pressed Powder in the shade Medium. This is what it looks like. I bought this very recently because I ran out of pressed powder, so it's pretty new. There's only three shades of this, but I find that this doesn't really have much of a tint to it. It's fairly transparent. But yeah, so far, I really like this powder. I like the packaging. It's cute. It's a really useful thing to just, you know, powder my face. For bronzer, you guys know my favourite bronzer, the Becca Sunlit Bronzer in the shade Barley Sands. I have hit pan on it, quite a large pan actually. And yeah, this is the only bronzer I own, so naturally I'm going to take this with me. For blush, I decided to take the Jouer Rose Gold. Oh, hello, it's me. Hello. Oh god, that's weird. Sorry about that. I'm taking the Jouer Rose Gold Blush Bouquet. It looks like this. Really, really pretty. It does have a more shimmery blush, and this one's more of a satin shade. You can see the background in the mirror. This is really versatile for me because this shade I find is a lot warmer, and this one, although it is still warm, it can lean on the neutral side, so it's good for slightly cooler toned looks. And yeah, it's my favourite blush as well, so gonna take that with me as well. For highlight, I'm taking the ColourPop Pressed Highlighter in the shade here, Kitty Kitty. Veterans of my channel know that this is one of my favourite highlighters, but it has been dethroned. I might make a video talking about makeup products that have been dethroned, like things that were my favourite, but are now replaced by something else. But yeah, I've got huge pan in this. Like, this is ridiculous. But I want to use it while I'm over there because hopefully I can expand the pan. And yeah. For eyebrows, I'm going to be taking the ABH Dip Brow Gel. Is it called that? I think it's called the Dip Brow Gel and this is in the shade Dark Brown. I actually bought this recently. You're gonna actually see a few things that I have bought quite recently in this video. And this is the mini size. They have a larger size, but I decided to try out the mini, mainly because it's small and compact, but also just to see if I like the formula, since the mini is cheaper. And honestly, this is my favourite brow gel. <laughs> 
I'm not gonna lie, I really love this. People are saying it's super pigmented. I don't find that to be the case. I think it's nicely pigmented, it holds my brows into place, and it's really good. I only need to use a tinted brow gel because, if you know me, you know how thick my eyebrows are. I don't need any help filling them in, I just want to hold them, so I'm going to be taking that with me. I really do recommend this though. If you can, buy the mini size and try it out because you will not regret it. For eyes, I'm going to be taking the Milani eyeshadow primer. This is the eyeshadow primer I always use. And yeah, it works really nicely and that's about it. I am like halfway finished with it, so maybe I'll finish it while I'm there. Actually, no I won't. I won't, but this is a good eyeshadow primer, especially for the price. Now this is the most exciting part, at least in my personal opinion. The eyes, what am I taking in terms of eyeshadow, eyeliner, and glitter? Because you guys know that those are my favourite, favourite, favourite things in my makeup collection. And I, it, it took me a while, but I did narrow it down to two eyeshadow palettes and one single shadow palette. Now that might be excessive to some people, but for me, I think that is the perfect amount. I don't want to be overwhelmed while I'm over there because as much as I love makeup, I don't want to spend the entire time using makeup and whatnot, but I'll show you guys the three palettes. The first one being the most recent palette to my collection, which is the, it's upside down, it's the Kaleidos Makeup Futurism 5 Electro Turquoise palette. This is limited edition for summer, as well as their VR Neon. But genuinely, ever since I purchased this palette, I have been using it every single day. I don't know if you can tell, but in this shade right here, the names aren't on the packaging, or you can see my Discord, sorry about that. <laughs> There's a really big dip in this pan right here. I love this shade and also this one is one of my favourites. And I just want to show you guys some swatches. So this is this beautiful super glittery shade called Shockwave. Look at this. I will be swatching some of the eyeshadows. I don't know if, I don't know if you can even see that. It's just like, there's not really much base colour to it. It's just super, super, super glittery. I think you can see it when I turn my hand in the light. But ever since I purchased this palette, I have seriously fallen in love with it and that swatch is literally atrocious. What's wrong with me? The mattes are really smooth and buttery and these glittery shades are literally incredible. Like, I get compliments every time I wear them on my eyes and I'm really not doing this palette justice with the swatches. I'm sorry. And this orange shade is super cool. Like, it's super neon and beautiful. They are nicely pigmented, they blend really well in the eyes. The only thing I will say is I don't really like the matte brown in here, but I understand why it's here. Like, look at- look at that. Like, what- what is that? I need to swatch it again, but this is seriously super, like, they're not just metallic, they're super glittery, and I love that about them. And this teal shade's really nice. You do have to work with the deeper shades, I will say which I kind of expect at this point when it comes to teals and matte browns. And here's the matte chocolate brown. Like, it's nice, it's just that I don't really wear chocolate browns, and I find that you do have to work a bit more with these two shades. But still, I still think it's so worth it. This is such a beautiful palette, I've been reaching for it all the time, and it sucks that it's limited edition. Please get your hands on it while you can, because if you're even vaguely interested in the colour story, because I promise you, you won't regret it. Okay, so my arm is still a little bit stained from the eyeshadows, because I haven't really used much makeup remover to take them off, but I'm sure that that's fine, I'm sure you guys don't mind. But the next palette that I'm going to be taking is no surprise if you watch my channel, and it's the Nabla Soul Blooming palette. This is stunning. I... I can't express how much I love this palette, like the, the colour scheme is so romantic and beautiful. Every time I wear this palette I feel pretty. Like I feel so, so, so pretty. I love how in this palette you have your matte uh, brown shades if you do want to go on the neutral side, but you also have these pinky shades right here to do like a more pink look obviously, and you have these beautiful shimmery purple blue duochromes. Like, let me swatch a few shades for you. Let's see. I'm not going to swatch all of the shades in this palette, but I will swatch a few of my favourites. Obviously, one of my favourites is Garden Gate right here. I find that their shimmer eyeshadow formula, you do need to use a glitter primer and wet your brush. But honestly, I think it's so worth it because it's they're so, so pretty. 
Like, look at that. Beautiful. There is a blue shine to it, but I don't know if you can really see it on camera. And then also Philosophy is definitely my favourite shade in the palette. Obviously, there's quite a big pan in it. It's just a pink, green, shimmery duochrome. And I use this all the time for my inner corners or all over the lid if I just want to do one of those more ethereal type looks. And I'll swatch a few mattes for you. I'll swatch the shade Bolero. Bolero? I think that's how you pronounce it. I love Nabla's matte formula. It's so pretty. I mean, look at that. So smooth. And I'll swatch the shade Flowery as well. I think I'll also swatch the shade Middle Karma in case you guys want to see what the browns look like in this palette. But as you can see, it's just such a romantic and pretty colour scheme. I will say the mattes are better than the shimmers, but I just love this palette. I love it so, so, so much. This palette always comes travelling with me. I'm not lying when I say that. Ever since I got this palette, anywhere I go, it comes travelling with me. It comes with me whenever I visit Harley. It comes with me when I went to Montenegro. Like... This is always with me, and I can't part with it, so it's coming with me yet again. Now the single shadows that I'm bringing may surprise you, maybe, maybe not, depending- Oh my god, my hand- my fingers are stained. Ignore those, ignore those. But these are the single shadows that I'm bringing with me. They are in a Nabla Magnetic palette. This was from their Feather collection. It's so pretty. I know it's a little bit topsy-turvy with the different sized eyeshadows, but these are the single shadows I want to bring with me. So let's start off with this shade. Hang on. This shade is Sugar Pills Taco. It's just a beautiful matte white. Look at that. It's so beautiful. I love this matte white eyeshadow. It's my favourite of all time. It's so pigmented. It works really well. And again, of course, I had to bring Sugar Pills Butter Cupcake. This is, again, one of my favourite eyeshadows ever. It's just their standard matte primary yellow. It's beautiful. Sugar pill eyeshadows don't always swatch the best, but they look beautiful on the eyes. Now these four shades right here are all from Nabla. This is the shade Lotus, because I had to bring a light matte lavender? Is this a lavender? I think this is a lavender. Because even though in the Nabla Soul Blooming palette, I'll just show you right here, it has the shade Flowery. This is more blue toned and this one's slightly warmer so I wanted to bring a warmer toned purple with me. I know that's a little bit nitpicky but trust me I would miss this eyeshadow if I didn't have it with me. This shade right here is called Aresia. I always pronounce that name wrong so I'm probably pronouncing it wrong again and this is just a deep matte purple. Again it's a warmer matte purple and I love that. It'd just be so beautiful to deepen up this look or pair with any other look. I mean, honestly, these four right here, that's a beautiful colour story. I would wear them together. This one right here is the shade Poetry, and this is a greyish, purple, bluish colour. I don't really know how to describe it. It's kind of like a dusty greyish purple, basically. And it's super pretty. I really like pairing this with these three shades and also with other different types of looks. And then the last Nabla shade is this one called Blue Velvet, which is just your classic deep navy blue. I know, again, in the Nabla Soul Blooming palette, there is a deep navy blue like this, but the navy blue in here is shimmery, and I don't like that. I wish they put Blue Velvet in that palette instead, because it would look so much better, in my opinion. I brought this shade because I want to anchor the blue looks that I'm doing, because obviously I am taking the Kaleidos Makeup one. And this one does have a dark teal, but this Blue Velvet shade is darker, if you can't tell. Oh, that's my face. Don't look at that. And also you may be thinking, Sky, where's New Heaven from Nabla? And the reason why I'm not taking New Heaven is because this shade right here is fairly similar to it. This one is more green toned, like it has more of a green undertone than the Nabla one, but they're similar enough that I don't think I'll miss New Heaven. Now moving on to these three shades. These three are from Colourpop. This first one, I can't remember the name. Let me just double check. It's a beautiful coral orange shade. There's a bit of fallout, hang on. It's a really smooth corally orange and this one is called Making Moves. This is one of my favourite shades to put all over my lid and just blend it out. It's, it's such a beautiful one eyeshadow type look and again I can pair this with Sugar Pills Butter Cupcake 
And with just other things, I could also- these two would be a beautiful pairing. Honestly, making moves and Lotus from Nabla, that would be a cute pairing. I didn't really want to bring Sugar Pills Flame Point, which is just a classic bright orange. I wanted to take something a bit more coral. Now this beautiful baby right here is Colourpop's Sandbar. This is your classic hot pink. And of course I had to take a hot pink with me. I haven't been wearing pink much recently, but I've been really craving it. And especially since I'm going to be going to Japan and I just... I just, I just felt like pink was necessary, you know? And this last shade right here is Poodle from Colourpop. Now you may be thinking, Sky, okay, calm it down. This is way, way, way too similar to the Soul Blooming Bellario right here. And here's the thing. You could be, uh, you could be right. <laughs> you could be right. However, I find that Bellario, I don't know if you can really tell, but this one is slightly darker than Bellario. Like, this is a good crease shade, and this is good to slightly deepen up the crease. They literally look the same on camera. I swear I'm not crazy. I know that sounds nitpicky, but I genuinely always use these two shades together. And whenever I use this shade, I always wish that I had this one as well to help it out. Actually, while I'm here, I'm just going to show you all the palettes laid out. This is gonna be such a long video, I swear. All my videos recently have been super long. I do apologize. But these are all of the eyeshadows that I'm going to be bringing on my trip with me. I have to hold this up because otherwise it will fold over. And I honestly think this covers every single base that I need. I have my blues if I wanna play with my blues. I've got the pinks, purples, my rosy romantic tones. I've got everything that I really need here. And I feel like this will suffice for me for two months. And especially since I'm going to be, while I'm away, I'm going to be uploading looks on my makeup Instagram. And if you don't know, I post looks, like full face looks and close ups all the time on there. So I wanted some variety. So yeah, that's why I'm taking this many eyeshadows. Now for eyeliners, I'm only taking three pencil liners and one liquid liner. So the liquid liner I'm going to be taking is the Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid liner. This is fairly new to my collection. Well, fairly new. I bought this maybe like a couple of months ago. And it's one of those eyeliners that has like a little inkwell and then the pen right here. This is a foam tip applicator, which I'm not a big fan of, if I'm going to be honest. If I'm going to have an applicator like this, I want to have a brush tip. I just find that you do have to dip a couple of times in the actual inkwell in order to get like a smooth application, but I still like it. I still like this eyeliner. It's super matte and super black, which I adore. I just wish the applicator was different. It would be the perfect liquid liner if it had a brush dip. And for pencil liners, I wanted to take shades that I could use with almost every single look. So naturally, the first shade I'm going to be taking, they're sliding away from me, the first shade I'm going to be taking is Colourpop's Cream Gel Liner in the shade Exit. This is just a white shade. It's so dirty. I use this seriously with almost every look. I'll swatch it on here, actually, so you can see a little bit better. As you can see, it's just a classic white eyeliner, and white just goes with everything, you know? The next cream gel liner I'm going to be taking is my most used. This, is pro this along with the white eyeliner, are my most used um, eyeliners. This is, again, Colourpop Cream Gel Liner in the shade Prance. This is just a light... Pale Periwinkle Blue. I adore this eyeliner. I pair this seriously with everything, with yellow looks, green looks, red looks, purple looks, pink, brown. Like, literally every single look I want to wear Prance. I have to force myself to not wear it, so I had to bring it on this trip with me. And the last liner is, again, from Colourpop. They're all from Colourpop. This is the shade Crybaby, and it's a light lavender purple colour. And I wanted to take this since I'm taking so many purples with me, and this will work just really well. It's just a light lavender, as you can see. I don't know if you can actually see that well. Hopefully you can see the colours right there. This one is very pale, so you might not be able to see the colour too well, but hopefully you can. Now for glitter, I'm going to be taking the Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter Liner, and this is in the shade Distortion. This is my favourite one. <laughs> I have four of these, and this is my favourite because I don't know if you can see. It's just a clear glitter base with blue and green sparkles to it. It's seriously gorgeous. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it in this swatch. And yeah, you're actually, yeah, maybe a little bit. I think you can see a little bit of it. 
But again, this pairs well with pretty much every single look. I wear this pretty much with everything. Let's see. I think because it's out of focus, you can see the colour better. See? That green-blue, like, flip to it. It's stunning. I, I love this one. I love this one, and I have to take it with me. Plus, this came with me when I went to New York, and the novel palette came to the New York trip with me as well, so... I mean, come on. It's gotta go on more trips. Now, for mascara, I'm going to be taking the ColourPop BFF Volumizing Mascara in the shade Black on Black. This one is on its last legs, I will say. I really do like this mascara. It is very... it separates my lashes really nicely, it volumizes them, it just doesn't lengthen them, which I... I, I wish it did. I wish it did. Then it'd be 100% perfect. But I really do love this mascara and I'm actually going to be taking this one and a backup as well. Since I'm going to be in China, I'm not going to be able to buy any makeup while I'm there because the makeup that is sold in China, like sold in stores, it's not cruelty free. So I had to bring my backup with me because I won't be able to buy anything else while I'm there. I'm also going to be taking the NYX Glitter Primer. I always use this with my shimmery eyeshadows. It just makes them pop. And yeah, I can't live without this. Okay, so what do we have left? Okay, so we have lips and then setting spray. So for lips, I've got quite a few options. And you may be shocked at the fact that I'm only taking one liquid lipstick. Sky, you love liquid lipstick. Why are you only taking one? This may change, I will be honest. This may change. I don't think many things in this video will change, but this might. But I'm definitely taking Jeffree Star's liquid lipstick in the shade uh, Unicorn Blood. This is my most used liquid lipstick of all time. You may think it would be a nude, but no, this one. This is so beautiful. You can even see the writing is rubbing off it. And this is honestly so close to being done. I will actually swatch this for you guys. I'll swatch all of the lip shades I'm bringing. But this is so, 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 so stunning. It's my, it's honestly one of my favorite lipsticks of all time, if not my favorite. It's just a deep red shade. It's just a deep red, but for some reason, this looks amazing with my skin tone and with whatever hair colour I have. I currently have grey hair. This also comes with me everywhere, and I am scraping this tube. It will probably, probably be finished by the time I come back from the trip. The other lip product I'm bringing is the Bite Beauty... What is this called? Oh my god, it's so... The writing is so tiny on here. This is the Matte Lip Crayon in the shade Amaretto. This is just a brownish nude. That's literally all that is to it. It's really creamy, really nice. I like the formula on here. And the reason why I'm taking it with me is because it's a beautiful nude. It's seriously a beautiful brownie nude, but I don't really wear it that often anymore. I used to, but I, I don't wear it as much as I should. This will serve its purpose. I, I really do love it. I'm looking at it and I'm just thinking, why do I not wear this often? Why do I not? For lip glosses, I used to hate lip glosses, but then, I fell in love, okay? Now you may be looking at this and thinking, Sky, what the heck? what, excuse me, what's going on here? Basically, I purchased, let me get the box, well, it's not really a box, it's more of a tin. I purchased the Fenty Beauty Glossy Posse, I think that's the name of it. I, I always want to say Glossy Pussy, but <laughs> Glossy Posse set, and it came with five mini gloss bombs. One of the shades was the shade Fussy, which is this shade right here, but I gave the mini size to my mum. And the other shade is this shade right here called Hot Chocolate. However, I don't think I'm going to get that much use out of this shade while I'm over there, so I'm going to keep that at home. I literally received these today. Like, I purchased these and I've been waiting and waiting and waiting. <laughs> I've literally been waiting three days. Like, I'm sounding so dramatic. But these are the three shades that I want to bring with me, and I will swatch them for you right now. I did swatch them on my Instagram stories in the hauls section of my highlights, on my Instagram highlights. So this shade right here is the shade Pretty Please, and this holiday set is limited edition, so I honestly recommend you get it because this is the same gloss bomb formula, just with some new shades. And I'm fairly sure Fenty Beauty is going to come out with these shades in full sizes very, very soon. But that's the shade Pretty Please. I just thought it would be a beautiful, beautiful gloss to pair with my pink looks. This one is the shade Confetti. And this is probably my favourite shade out of all of them. This is so stunning. I think it's inspired by her highlight stick in the same shade name. It's just a clear gloss. Oh, you're not going to be able to see this. Damn it! 
It's just a clear gloss with a bunch of blue and purple shimmer. Now you know, now you know, you know it would be my favourite because of the blue purple shimmer. Like, I don't even know if you can see it in the tube, but it's so, so beautiful. And I actually wore this today. It's stunning. It makes your lips look so beautiful and nice. It's just a, This would work with pretty much every single look. And then this shade right here is the shade Cheeky. And this is just more of a orange lip gloss. And I just thought, you know what, why not? I do have a Nabla lip gloss in a similar shade to this, but I wanted to take the Fenty one because honestly I prefer the formula of these. And the last two gloss bombs from Fenty, this sounds like I'm sponsored, I'm really really not. These are genuinely, genuinely my favourite glosses. This is the original gloss bomb in the shade Fenty Glow. And this one is almost finished. It's so close to being finished, like, I don't know if you can even see on camera because it has been, like, tilted. Look how empty it is. Like, that's how much I have left, basically, from, like, from around, like, here, where my nail is. I seriously love this gloss. It's such a beautiful nude gloss, and it pairs well with really warm-toned looks. And then this, of course, is the shade Fussy. This shade is also in the mini set, like I mentioned before, and I just love it for more cool toned nude looks basically like that's my warm toned gloss that's my uh cooler toned gloss and actually while i'm here i'm going to swatch the shade hot chocolate in case you guys want to see what it looks like but remember i'm not taking this one with me this would look stunning on deeper skin tones stunning absolutely stunning the reason why i want to take mostly glosses with me is because i'm going to be going out i'm going to be eating and i don't really want to like worry about my lipstick or lip gloss that much, so I just figured a gloss would just make my lips look really nice, really healthy, really fresh, and I wouldn't have to worry about it. I mean, I don't have to worry about the Jeffree Star liquid lipstick, like, at all, but I just- I'm in a gloss mood, pretty much. That's why I want to take a bunch of these. Wait, 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 hang on a minute, hang on a minute. I forgot to mention setting sprays. How could I- I always forget to mention setting sprays. Why am I so stupid? So obviously the setting spray I'm bringing is the Urban Decay All Nighter setting spray. This is my favourite, it's genuinely Nothing is as good as this. I adore this. It makes my makeup last all day. It looks stunning. Like, it makes my skin look good. Like, it's seriously magic in a bottle. And I'm also going to be taking the LA Girl Pro Setting Spray. I only use this to spray my brushes. That's seriously the only reason why I use it. I don't know if it's good on your face. I've never used it that way. So yeah, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you want to see more flat lay type videos like this. I actually have a few ideas in mind for flat lay videos. But yeah, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I hope you guys are having a great day and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.